this subject needs no introduction. The entire world is talking about the same thing. COVID-19 has turned the world upside down in just a couple of weeks. Human resources are scrambling to adapt to this new pandemic. COVID-19 is racing through populations for the many symptoms are mild, for others the virus debilitates the lungs ability to transfer carbon dioxide and oxygen in and out of the lungs. Also the blood oxygen level begins to fall. Each breath becomes more labored until the patient feels too exhausted to breathe on their own. A patient that presents to the hospital with the symptoms are in dire need of medical intervention before they suffocate. Unfortunately, we do not have a cure. The best medical treatment currently is to simply assist their lung function with mechanical ventilation. Every single design that we have come across centers around one key bit of technology, a BVM or a bag valve mask. BVM are plastic bags that a clinical care practitioner can manually deflate with their hands. It's what the first responder would use on a patient who was breathing. It's cheap and an easy way to force air into the lungs. Manufactured quickly and in great numbers, but when ventilators force air into the patient's lungs, one of the primary problems facing doctors currently is managing the side effects of mechanical ventilators, that is, barotrauma. Bubble helmet solves all these problems and uses non-invasive ventilation to provide oxygen surplus air to the lungs. This not only decreases the risk of barotrauma, but also is comfortable for the patient suffering from acute respiratory distress syndrome or ARDS. The helmet envelops the patient's entire head and supplies air through two tubes and is sealed with an uh, airtight collar that wraps around the neck. The primary function of bubble helmet based ventilation is to provide the patient with oxygen rich air at hyperbaric pressure through non-invasive technique. Currently, we have completed the 3D design of a prototype. All we need to do is scale it up. Help from the industry experts for the medical validation of our project will be really helpful. If the 3D printing facility is available, we can have our first prototype ready in 3 days. Also, we can conclude our first phase of testing within the next 7 days. It's an evolving project. But in its current form, it is most aligned with the definition of a non-invasive pressure support like a BiPAP ventilator. Bubble helmet can also be supplied without the ventilation system altogether. ICU systems already in place can also have the benefit of bubble-based ventilation without having to buy the whole ventilation system. The helmet is designed in a way that the already present ventilators can use it by making some adjustment to the ventilator settings. Bubble helmets are currently being used in COVID-19 hotspots like USA, Italy and France. Studies have proven the effectiveness of this product and there is a decrease in mortality rate over its use. This war against COVID-19 is far from over, but this pandemic can be won by a collective effort.